Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace front shocks. In this case, it'll be on my 2001 Mazda B3000 Ford Ranger. Replacing these shocks is going to be similar on most makes and models. These are shocks and not struts. There's no spring around them. That's the difference. Now this shock is bad. It has 115,000 miles that have been very hard on it. The front end bounces around a little bit, more so in the rear end. I'll be changing out the rear end shocks as well, and there'll be another video. The link to that video will be in the description below. This is going to be a very simple job. All you do is unbolt it from the top and then unbolt it from down here and the bolts are located under the control arm. You don't need many tools and this is going to be quick and simple. So here are all the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a bunch of different size wrenches. You're going to need different size sockets, a ratchet, torque wrench, extensions, and then your shock. One of the first things we're going to do is spray the nuts that we're going to be taking off with some penetrating fluid. This will make everything a lot easier while we're trying to get it off. We'll start at the top here. What you're going to need are two open-ended wrenches. I actually have a ratcheting one. This is a 5 8 and that's going to go on top. It's going to make my life a lot easier. And then I'm going to use this 3 quarter to hold the nut down here. I switched over to a 15 millimeter. It fit better than the 5 8 Okay. Well, it looks like I snapped the top nut. You can see that there's some bulging rust right here which prevented the nut from unscrewing which caused a lot of pressure to be put on this and it snapped it right off. Not a big deal because we're going to be replacing this whole thing. So so now with this nut undone, or in my case the stud broken off, I'm going to push this down so it gives us clearance when we pull this out later. Now we're going to go to the bottom down here and take off those two half inch bolts. So we're looking at the bottom of the control arm here, going out towards the tire. We want to take off each of these nuts and they're both half inch. That's one, second nut off. Now we could pull the shock right out. With the shock off the car, you could actually see there is a dent in here. And if you get a dent in your shock, you definitely need to replace it. You can see there's that little play in there that I barely have to move this, like I'm not pressing hard at all. Those are only a few symptoms to tell if a shock is bad. If you want to see more symptoms and see if your shock is bad, there's a link to a video in the description below that goes into detail. Now let's get these new shocks installed. Before you install anything, I always take brake clean and clean it up just so that the mounting points are clean. With these mounting points clean, we can install the shock now. With the washer at the bottom and the bushing right on top on the top stud, we're going to slide the shock in from the bottom. Try not to scratch the shock. Bring the top in through the hole it was in before. And at the bottom, get both of these bolts aligned in the hole. So you can see here, the new shock isn't exactly fitting on this control arm angle. And the reason why is because the control arm's just dangling here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack the control arm up so that this angle isn't as steep and I could get these bolts in properly. Since I'm jacking up the car, I wanna make sure that this stud is in the hole here. So when it goes up, it goes into the hole. So now you can see there's less of an angle on the control arm. These bolts went through further, so now I can bolt them down. In addition, this seated right on the spot that it needs to go. The first thing we'll do is get our two nuts, hand tighten them in. As you tighten these down, you might need to hold the other side with a wrench to prevent the bolt from spinning. Tighten this side just a little bit. Go to the other side. As you snug these two down, just go back and forth between the two nuts so they snug down evenly. With these two bolts tightened down, we'll torque them. For my truck, these two bolts get torqued down to 15 to 21 foot-pounds. Good. Good. With these two torqued down, now we'll go to the top of the shock and we'll tighten that nut down. Put the bushing and washer on and tighten that nut on there. This is 9 sixteenths. Make sure when you're installing these that the bushings line up right in the middle. You don't want them to be off-centered. And you're going to torque this down so that the bushings compress to the same diameter as this outer washer here. So once it's compressed that much, you're done tightening. You can see the bushing is as wide as that washer on the bottom and on the top. Once you get it tightened down that much, you're good to go. And that's how you change a front shock. Very simple, easy to do, save you a lot of money. If this video is helpful, 
give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly and I answer all the questions and comments you guys leave below. On the screen will be different videos. You can click on the video on the screen, that'll get you there. Or you can find the links to those videos in the description below. You can also find the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages in the description below. If you use Facebook or Twitter, go check it out. And always remember, when you're replacing one shock, replace the other side as well. So if I'm doing front shocks, I'm doing both front shocks, not just one. Always replace in pairs.